Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. You know, see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's From what situation. he would, what he would, what how he addressed it is saying, "Hey, you know, I got to got Boosie." What he never told you about Boosie? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He just, you know, chat. Man, I got your little nigga, man. He's dope. That's it. You know, that's all we talk about. Yeah, was, we used to talk about other stuff besides artists. You know, because I remember when Boosie came. You know, like when he came out. I know I got my first CD from George over there, yeah. and he gave it to me. They had no nothing but Boosie on there. Yeah. I think Pimp C and Boosie had a song together, I want to say. It was a long time Finger ago. Finger fucking with my... With yeah, my, it, was, yeah. It, was something, it was something they had Steve together. Steve Yeah. Oh, yeah? Finger fucking with my ring... With my, yeah. With my, with my diamonds on? Yeah, but it was... A, it was I think he had a whole CD, too, but... <laughs> You ain't never heard that? No, uh, but listen. <laughs> he, he had a whole CD, and, uh, and he just told me that... Pimp C, you know, pretty much rock with with Boosie, and um, I always thought like, dang man, I, Pimp, you, you know, and even Webby, they love they love bringing his name up and yeah. talking about him because of the legacy they left for them too. Yeah. So it's like even the KLC when he was on here talked about yeah. Pimp Pimp left a piece with Mr. Lee as well. Let me tell you something, because I, I listened to it all. Yeah, he affected he everybody did. that he came in touch he with. He did. Like. Everybody. He was a different dude, bro. He was a beacon. And if, you in a different around, way. Yes. Each person in a different way. Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Yes. And like I say, I, I don't want to. It, 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 it's so much to what you just said. People take stuff and then in their head, you remember I say they, they make these things up. So much to the point that a famous DJ, I can say his name in Houston, he claimed Bobo because he had just lost a little boy in the house fire as well. Really? He said he was the bobo that Chad was talking about on the song. Ooh. You can't say his name. I, I can't. He said he can. But, you know. Oh, you, okay. You know, I don't want to. But you don't want to. He thinks that. I, in you, his hold heart. Hold on. You said a famous DJ. Is, does he still, is he still a famous DJ right now? In Houston? Oh, my God, yes. And he thinks that that was to yeah. him. If I say his name, you'd be like, What? <laughs> but he did lose a child in, in, in a, in a, I, in, in a similar way. But that's same dope, time? though, that he would... Mm, I don't same, know. Yeah, because I, that, it would have I, to be around the same time for Chad told me on two to, different occasions. Said the guy approached him and said, bro, thank you for, for doing that song for me. Chad said, bro, it was... And, and when, if Did Chad didn't bust his bubble... Huh? No. No, no, and, and, but it's if good. If Chad didn't bust his bubble, I'm, I'm you, not going to bust exactly, his bubble. Exactly, okay. and that's, that, that's therapeutic for him. Yes. That's why he... What he's saying is he affect people like like so much that... It crosses over into places oh, yeah. where you wouldn't even imagine. I hear a lot of people say stuff. I'll be like, Pfft. you know the truth. And that's the one that you know about. But imagine how many other people might feel that way that yeah. that was about. That's them. what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie. When he did, he made you feel like that, though. Yeah, he made me feel like a pocket yeah. full of stones. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, I was that guy in the beginning. You know, yeah, it was if for Chad me. was in yeah. Dallas, everybody <laughs> know. Everybody <laughs> He made you feel it on. I was rolling. Oh yeah. I I was a man. Oh, yeah. I, and I was like, man, this dude, yeah, this is this is all the therapy I need. Yeah. <laughs> it was different. It was. Because we weren't talking about D no -uh. back then. They Nobody the wasn't talking no. about it. When they came out talking about that D, I was like That's why I think him and, when he was saying that about like even about alluding to the fact that it was Jeezy or whoever about Original. fake dope prices and yeah. all that stuff. And not talking about the bad when you just talk about the good. This yeah. stuff was really happening. And yes. I knew because being from the streets, yeah. I felt him on, on uh, you saw the, it feds, felt it. the feds Come in on, town. Man. And all that, that was therapeutic as yes. well. And it kept me aware of not getting caught up so much to not watch for the feds to come to the town. <laughs> it ain't all about balling. <laughs> it ain't real. all about balling when you That's right. Them. When you yeah. really, you got to be yeah. mentally able to deal with this Everything. as you hustling. Yes. All this, like I say, he was the counselor. He was a counselor yeah. for me. That's, I, now you, hey, you might be helping me tonight. That, that may be why I loved his music so yeah. much because being in the street, it. it was dangerous yeah. doing all the stuff that was happening during that time and at the end of the day it made you feel like everything was going to be okay and yep. if it wasn't you knew what you had to face exactly because you think outside looking in people are oh, they glorifying it but no it wasn't a glorification of not it. at all all they did was say what they did they had been through and the pitfalls yeah you make your own choices Wow. You make your own choices. Yeah. And they could paint some vivid pictures. And let me tell you something. I can remember, I told you about how them boys could rap, and, and they would rap about 
real life experiences. And that's right. Like, and you go back to Port All thing, be like, damn, that shit did happen. That shit was real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.